Good day everyone. For today's video, we'll talk about the Republic Act 11479 or also known Anti-Terrorism Act of 2020. It's a counter-terrorism law and intended to prevent, prohibit, and penalize terrorism in the Philippines. The law was passed by the 18th Congress and signed by President Rodrigo Duterte on July 3, 2020, effectively replacing the Human Security Act of 2007 on July 18, 2020. It is opposed by the Philippines Commission on Human Rights said the broad definition of terrorism in the bill paves the road for possible abuse. A lot of people oppose, rally, and question the new act and it will affect the human right. Understanding the Anti-Terrorism Act of 2020, the controversy considering the speeches that are critical against government and protests. Terrorism is probably defined in the any act committed by any person with, within or outside in the Philippines that causes death or serious injuries extensive damage or destruction to properties and the use of weapons and explosives of which can instill fear, provoke the government or destabilize or destroy political, economic or social structures of the country. Purpose of the law Protect life, liberty and property from terrorism condemn terrorism as inimical and dangerous to the national security of the country and to the welfare of the people. To make terrorism a crime against the Filipino people, against humanity, and against the law of nations. President Duterte's administration decided to repeal and amend the Human Security Act while the country was in the middle of a pandemic and surprisingly, even rush the whole process. In the past years, terrorism in the Philippines ramped up, mostly in the lands of the Sulu Archipelago, where the Abu Sayyaf stronghold. These consist of different types of crimes involving killings, kidnappings, exchanging of bullets with the armed forces, and suicide bombings. Sa pagitan lang ng isang taon, there were six recorded suicide bombings in the Philippines between July 2018 to November 2019. The growing number of terrorist attacks in the Philippines was compiled by the University of Maryland and analyzed to see the trends of terror attacks. It showed a big spike in number, particularly in Mindanao, between 2010 to 2016. Based sa findings ng graph na ito, security analysts determine that the main factors causing the spike are weak border control, bad governance, and historic injustice. In section 4, four Terrorism is defined by enumerating five violent acts together with a series of intent to further classify terrorism, such as to intimidate the public and create fear, to intimidate the government and international organizations, and to destabilize political and economic structures.